Hello everybody, Dana here, and I am here to provide a quick flip through of the three most recent books that came out, that I'm aware of anyway. Um, and I'm really excited to show them to you. They're all kind of cutesy ones. Um, if you're into that, awesome. If not, well, it's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. There's three of them. It's Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien is the first one. We'll just start. Um, and it is about half to three quarters the size of um, Morgan O'Brien's normal books. So a normal coloring book. See, it's a lot shorter. If you can see that. A couple inches shorter. Let me zoom you so out a little. It's a little bit shorter, a couple inches. A couple inches shorter. Um, and this is a little bit different of a format than he previously has done with the Matchstick Mouse coloring books. Um, generally, it's just a coloring book, but this one has a story involved, and I think maybe that's why um, it's different size and everything. Um, and it says, Color Along, Coloring Book Companion for the Picture Book, Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party. Okay, so that was the front and back. And let's zoom you in now again. So it starts off with um, the first couple of pages um, with the copyright and everything. It came out just a couple days ago. Um, and this is by, again, Morgan O'Brien. And the paper is Amazon printed, but it's got a f very smooth and s almost slick finish to it because it's like a, it's a book, like a storybook, like a kid's storybook. So I was a little bit curious and I'll show you at the end. I put some swatches on the back page um, of different pencils that I have and a couple other mediums and I'll show you at the end of this. But here's the first page and again, there's a story. So you, uh, you can consider this to be one-sided if you want your mediums to go through on the story. Um, I will probably not be doing that. I would love to use alcohol markers, but of course it'll bleed through. Um, but here's the first page. Adorable as normal. I keep talking when I turn my head. And he finds a pumpkin seed or I guess is burying the pumpkin seed. Um, the so the, I read the story already. It's very cute. And he's letting it grow and reading stories to it as it grows <laughs> with his little bug friends like normal or hers. I'm sorry. It's a she. And look how big the pumpkin grew. I love to see. I, I marked this page because I think I'm going to color it first. <laughs> so cute but she decides to make a door and a window and get all the pumpkin guts out little worm enjoys this part apparently painting and getting it all decked out for for Halloween for autumn I love that little cute candle and everything making an invitation for a party, a pumpkin party. And then uh, there goes the invitations. <laughs> I love this crow or raven, whatever the case is. And here's people showing up to the party and singing and dancing spider. In the tail on the cat, I suppose. <laughs> Bobbin for cherries, not apples, but cherries. Because, you know, obviously an apple would be the size of the mouse. Oh, pinata time. Oh, look at the ghost. 
Oh, and I didn't notice before, but Worm has like ears and little wings. Oh, how cute. And then, of course, the last page is the actual invitation, which I love. I think it's so cute. Can you guys see that? So, and that's the end of the book. It's a cute little book. And these are the things that I've swatched just to figure it out. Oh, who, who's? Alcohol markers obviously went through. Everybody knows that that's going to happen. Um, but also, very easily, the Tombow markers, which is a water-based marker, and even the Jelly Roll Stardust uh, ghosted a little bit on the other side of the page. If you can see that. You can't see it as well as I can. But the pencils, I was very surprised. This is, okay, again, this is my opinion. <laughs> You know, to each their own and their style of coloring with pencils might differ from mine. But I found that it was really hard for me. I mean, I got it to blend just fine, but it was a lot of effort to get my polychromos pencils to the pigment to get on the page. And then to um, get the, the white spots from the tooth, I guess. Um, to go away. Anyways, I was not pleased with the chromo, polychromos. I had a very easy time with the Prismas. The Black Widows were fine. Derwent Ink Tints, I highly discourage anyone from using any kind of water um, based anything on these pages just because they're super thin. I mean, it's just like any of the Amaz other Amazon pages. In my opinion, um, it goes through really easily. Um, I used barely, barely any water at all, and it started to seep through. So there's that. And then actually the color, okay, disregard the blending on this. <laughs> I grabbed two blues that were closest to each other, and I re didn't realize that one of them was a metallic. So that's why this, the, this blending looks off. Um, that's my fault. The actual pencils didn't do too terribly. I would prefer either the Prismas or the Black Widows because um, I had to work a little bit harder, but the color was still better than the Polychromos in my opinion. Anyway, so that's what I tried just because this paper is so much different than his other pages. Um, I also tried my Tuli Art acrylic pens, paint pens, and um, those worked amazingly there's no ghosting or anything with those so I mean that's a thought but yeah so there is matchstick mouse pumpkin party coloring book by Morgan O'Brien just came out and then we have the newest book from RJ Hampson and I'm gonna screw uh, zoom out a little bit because it's a bigger book so here's the front it's called lost and found coloring book Illustrated by R.J. Hampson. Here's the back. And here we go. And it's one-sided and the paper is Amazon just like before. Everything is um, the same as all his other books that I have anyways. Let me make sure we're in camera shot and we'll get going. So here's the first page. This book it belongs to is on this tag here. It's interesting. And there's the copyright and illustrated by and published and all that. And here we go. So one-sided Amazon paper, Paradise Lost. This one. Lost in space. Oh my. <laughs> look at him. I love this. I love this little alien. He's amazing. Oh, look at him. There's so much to find. You know, you keep looking and you find something else in these pages. I love that. Love it. Love it. Oh, that's nice. The key to my heart. Fun. The rescue. Who's being rescued? 
Did he let him out of the cage? Is that what happened? I don't know. Time after time. It's like a clock and then the time hourglass, I guess. It's neat. Ooh, and the search for lost treasure. It's a treasure map. I need to practice. The lost lighthouse is floating. Oh, look, there's a little, I don't know if you can see her. There's a little girl on this little piece of island, and she's either blowing up balloons and sending them up or has lost her balloons, and they're going up to this gentleman who's on this side island over here. Lots to see. Okay. Help. Oh, wow. Everybody decided to help at once. Even the not so friendly ones. <laughs> and a pirate on a nar narwhal. Cool. Oh. Mr. Fog Fogarty and his snail friend lost in the city. With all my heart. Oh, is that Toto? Is that supposed to be Toto? I think maybe. I like this. This is fun. Home for lost cats. Oh, look at the mouse. <laughs> awesome. Cute. Super cute. Opposites attract. Wrong turn. Oh gosh. Okay, so we have some cats driving through town. A uh, dog town, apparently. That's not good. Lost kingdom. Oh, she's got keys in her hand. And her little dragon. That's fun. A new trick. The bunnies are making the trick. Cute. Lost and found. A teddy bear in his hands. All kinds of stuff. There's a doll of Mr. Fogarty. And all kinds of keys and things. Oh my goodness. This one's pretty detailed. Lost in wonder. Land of lost socks. This actually reminds me of Narnia with the light lamppost in the like the snowy foresty setting we just need Mr. Thomas here right <laughs> destiny oh the sword and the stone the bug catcher oh no <laughs> run Freedom found. Okay, another rescue mission. Hide and seek. Is it the mice that are hiding and seeking? Yeah, they're all hiding from this guy who knows he's there. Totally. Cute. Three wishes. Oh, it's a genie. How fun. <laughs> the collector oh it's <laughs> it's a trash panda y'all <laughs> it's a raccoon with all his knickknacks and secret things that he's found Fun. paradise found oh story time everybody's chilling reading their books hanging out happy as a clam Awesome. Cozying up with some tea, looks like. Okay. Okay, here's the second section. Just like the last one he put out, which was the um, Moonlight Mischief, where the next set of the same pictures um, 
have a Oh, I guess it says, okay, this book has been designed with two copies of each illustration. The second part of the book contains duplicates with subtle changes and black backgrounds added to give you a unique coloring experience as well as a chance to revisit your favorite illustrations. There you go. So this one has a back, black background. I don't necessarily notice any subtle changes. I never noticed before, but this the astronauts re reaching for a button to push in that one. And if if I see any changes, I'll 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 say them out loud. I, but I if I notice them, anyways, I'm sure there are because it says there are, but I just. We aren't really sitting and studying each page. The lighthouse is on, obviously. I mean, without, I mean, the black is obviously different on every page, but um, she only has one balloon going up. And then this is actually completely different. There was a guy on an island that her balloons were going up to. He's not there anymore, and it's a different, like a clock tower. Oh, this one's a lot different. This one is the uh, help page and there's somebody still coming to help the pirate and the airplane guy, but mostly it's monsters in the dark. Woo. Mr. Fogarty's looking through a telescope now at the meteors and things at night. I don't, besides the black, and you know the like glowy bits and stuff i don't see anything major light source changes oh there's a dog um that used to be a cat there dressed up as a cat though <laughs> not sure what's different here Or here. Oh, I don't think the butterflies were coming out here before. <laughs> and he had a teddy bear in his hands before. And that's like an octopus or a squid-like creature. That See, that definitely looks like Narnia to me. <laughs> The rat was running this way before, and now he's over here. Oh, there's more than one rat. I didn't see the two rats before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that. The bug catcher is in the, the one being caught, and they're all like, they're still, are they still running away though? Or they're running like, yay, we caught him. No, let's flee. See, look. He's like got his net and he's ready to go. He's got a couple bugs already and everybody's running scared, right? Now he's the one that's caught. That's awesome. Freedom found. Hide and seek. Not sure what's different. Genie, two wishes. Oh. I think the other one was three wishes. He must have had a wish already. Oh, he was a just a poor boy, like Aladdin type thing. And now he must be like a sultan. So he got one wish. And now he only has two left. Oh, I'm not quite sure what's different here other than the back, back, black background. <laughs> Paradise. All the light sources. And there we have it, you guys. So that was RJ Hampson's Lost and Found, his newest coloring book. And the last one I have is Camilla, Camilla, sorry, Angel Kova's newest edition, 50 space themed miniatures coloring book. And this is a really cutesy one. Um, Make sure you guys can see. 
we're just gonna go through, here's her copyright info and book details. This book belong, belongs to, <laughs> these aliens are so cute. I definitely have my favorites. I already looked through a little bit, sorry. Got the planets as balloons. Oh, and they're holding hands, how sweet. Looking at the stars. I love this because we can totally go ham with all the different colors we want. doesn't matter. There's no rules. Not that there's rules anyways when it's your own coloring page, but still, this is cute. Hmm. Riding on some stars. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Oh. Blast off. So cute. See, this is one of my favorites too. I love that. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Big old bug eyes. Friends. With toe beans. <laughs> oh, feeding the animals, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Cute. Bugs, alien bugs. Cute. Monkeys. <laughs> Chasing satellites. Doorway. This is definitely, oh, I'm sorry. Amazon printed, same size, uh, same format as all of her other books. I love that too. It's a moon made out of cheese. I love that too. <laughs> Taking a, a bath in the stars and moons and things. Hamsters, they have toe beans and a rocket. Oh, I like that. Fun. Like rowing in the sea of clouds and stars. Fishing. Fishing for planets. Fishing for stars. Oh, <laughs> cute. First puppy on the asteroid. Comet, whatever. Another spacey door. <laughs> Slide. Cute. Oh. Everybody's popping through their wormhole to say hi. Having a drink on the planet. This one I like too, and that's cute. Look at the light bulbs for the antennae. These are fun. So cute. So cute. Sliding down the tail of the, oh, it's like a conductor maybe. All aboard, huh? Maybe they're just riding. Have, along for the ride. Oh, it's like a birthday party. Friends. Oh, that's cute. The carrot for the rocket. We have some gardening. Mom and babies. Oh, and an alien horse thing, animal. Oh, there's a comet. That's cute. I like that too. Bubbles. Oh, and the planet earth okay and then she's got all of her other books which are many <laughs> okay you guys that is gonna do it for all of the new books that I got the last couple of days they all just came out so I hope you enjoyed 
If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.